This is room 1701 of the Sky City Grand after the housekeeping have been through it during the day. And what I'm also going to do in this video is take a more detailed tour of the room. So firstly, you can see that it actually looks out towards the harbour, although it's a bit hard to see at night, but this is the harbour view room as distinct from the city view one. The TV is probably a 26 or 32 inch LCD screen. And they have a number of movie as well as the TV channels. So the working desk area here, it's like a very long working desk, but quite narrow as you can see. There's a desk lamp here, to turn it on you just turn on that switch and it gives a reasonably bright light so you can easily work at night. So the drawer has one Bible there. and there's nothing in the middle. Internet access through cable is provided over there. The telephone's a more old-fashioned one and there are buttons directly to the various departments. So this is the area for placing the luggage. There's no drawer under the TV. And next to the window there's an L-shaped sofa with a rough type of fabric surface. And one interesting thing with this room was the number of magazines that they provide. There's, for example, a holiday magazine. A recommended magazine of areas to visit by the Concierge Hotel Concierge Society in New Zealand. There's even the Air New Zealand magazine for September. And then there are actually a, there's a magazine in Chinese and English, and various other types of magazines. And then you have this guidebook which is probably produced by the some sort of New Zealand directory. Lastly a copy of the Denison. I actually don't know any of these magazines because they're obviously not in Australia or in the Australian news agents. So, anyway, <coughs> moving on to the bedside area. You can see that the plugs are the same as, or actually you can't see, but they are the same as in Australia. You have that three-pronged plug which is exactly the same. And for the bedside lamp, that in itself probably is bright enough for the bedside reading, but if it's not, what you can do is you can switch that light on. So simple area next to the bed, no drawers or anything complicated. And there's a clock radio over there and the telephone which is exactly the same as the one on the working desk area. 
The bed looks either like a, looks most likely a king size bed. It's a little bit larger than what a queen size would be. And then you come here next to the toilet is the mini bar, mini bar, coffee, tea area. So to switch on the light, just press that. And the kettle has got various uh, indications of the volume within it, which is interesting. But otherwise, it appears to be a little bit stained over there. I think that could be improved. And that basically slides out to give you the mini bar items such as the small alcoholic drinks, the chocolate as well as the chips and the wine. So you open that door, gives you the fridge items, which include the beer, soft drinks, the juice, as well as the bottled water and the champagne. And apparently there's supposed to be ice included here as well. And you can see that over there. So this area is basically the sliding door to reveal the wardrobe. And if you slide it closed, you can see the light from the bathroom. So that was an interesting feature because I left the light on the bathroom at night and then slid it closed or slid the wardrobe open to reveal just a little bit of light which was enough to serve as a bit of a night light. Now I don't think you can turn on any lights in the wardrobe. There's a small sort of iron, quite a large ironing board though. And the safe is one of those which are large enough to place a laptop in and it's electronically operated. In the first drawer they have the laundry list as well as the bags. The second drawer is empty. So is the third one. And initially they provide you with two thick bathrobes. The other one's already used over there. So that's basically the overview of the living room area. As you can see, it's quite nicely decorated and furnished, but still at the same time quite simple without anything too complicated or anything too fancy, which is the way some people like it, I suppose. Also, you've got some various plugs for the PC over there, including the Ethernet cable. Once again, three power plugs here. So, moving to the bathroom. They give you some toiletries, all the standard toiletries there including the soap from the spa which is called the East Day Spa just one vanity sink 
one power plug for the shaver wraps and the towels are placed there as well as spare toilet rolls as well as the hair dryer and the bath top itself seemed to me to be quite low set and also relatively small compared to some bath tubs in hotels so this is the control for the cold water switch it on for the hot water and that will be the control to place the bath stop and fill the bathtub so a relatively small toilet itself and the shower was quite simple as well there's no rain shower here either and I think one issue that I encountered last night was with the water flowing from this shower area into this um, area in front of the vanity unit that's actually why the socks over here because the sock was placed here and it was wet from the water flowing out of the shower itself so that's one issue not a great deal of height difference between the bath room floor and the shower area and this glass enclosure obviously wasn't watertight as there's a gap underneath the bath stop is a, an old fashioned one The lock is this usual hotel lock which you turn. So that's the location of this room relative to all the others. And the climate control is the standard Honeywell one where you can adjust the fan settings from low to medium to high and then to set the temperature you just simply press up or down so that's basically I think covered just about everything in this room which is room 1701 at the Sky City Grand Hotel in Auckland, New Zealand and it's um, quite a nice room quite simple but still at the same time quite nice